Hello everybody, welcome back to Pixie Woo. Um, the other day I was a bit bored at home and my boyfriend didn't know what to do, so I said to him, well let's watch a film that I really like, Dreamgirls, thinking he's going to hate it so much. But um, he really loved it and it really just inspired me again how much I love makeup and the makeup in it is just amazing. So um, I wanted to do a recreation of a few of the looks. I'm going to start off with one, um, which is Beyonce. She's got just beautiful black eye makeup on and a really strong lip. So I thought I would do that for you today. I just want to show you, yesterday Sam and I went to an ASOS event and they had these new nail things where you kind of, they stick a nail on your own nail and they hair dry it and it stays on. So I've got my nails done leopard print which isn't really something that I would normally go for, but it's a bit of fun, so um, I had it done so I could show you guys. It literally took about five minutes to do the whole of my nails, which I think was really amazing, and they come in lots of other designs, so I just wanted to show you that. Um, my jewellery that I've got on, I've got a necklace that matches the earrings, um, and the ring is um, from... Butler and Wilson. I don't know if you can get that in the in the States, but I love, love, love their jewellery. So um, I thought people will ask me where it's from. Um, so I may as well just say now. Get it out of the way. I'm going to use Revlon foundation. Um, this is for normal to dry skin um, and the colour is 250. Uh, fresh beige. If you want to prime because you find your skin's reasonably oily, do that first, obviously. Um, I'm not going to... I have got a MAC 190 foundation brush. This is NW30 in Studio Finish Concealer from MAC. I'm going to take that just under my eyes. I can use the NW25 or 30. I'm going to go for the 30 today. Right, for the eyes. I have got Dusk Cream Colour Base from MAC. If you want to use something that's going to stay put because you want to wear it all night, then you might want to go for maybe a paint pot or something along those lines. But in a, in a reasonably light colour. You know, actually, um, Rubenesque would look really nice, uh, which is a bit golder. I am going to pop that all over. Actually, I'm going to use my finger so I can get a real payoff from it. Just grab the 217 just to buff it out. A little bit. So I've got a MAC 266 brush, which is this one here, an angled brush, and my sleek palette in Storm. And I'm going to use the black from that. I might mix it with a tiny bit of the darker brown, which is next to it. I am going to take that. This will have a bit of fall down. You can see it already where it's fallen down. It's fine, we haven't powdered the face. And then I'm going to pull it up into the eye like that. It's going to be blended quite a bit. And basically it goes dark all the way underneath the eye as well. Two one seven. I'm going to change from a two one seven to a two three nine. So I think it's going to blend it a little bit better. So two one seven might be a little bit too sporadic the brush. So um, I actually think this is a better brush for doing it. Yeah, it is. There you go. We learn while we're doing it too. It out and then up. I'm going to get a clean brush. This is actually a number seven brush and it is an eyeshadow blend and contour brush. It's almost the same as a 217. So I'm going to use that just through this front part because I don't want it too much thicker in here. And that's just with one eyeshadow colour on top. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. Do you know what? You might be better to start with the underneath of the eye. So I'm going to do that this time. 
If you start with the underneath, then you can go straight along to get that kind of shape there. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of makeup remover and just clean up under there, otherwise it's going to just keep spreading. Look at that. Beautiful. So, black smolder. Check your fingers clean. I'm going to do the underneath of my eye too. Elf Cream Eyeliner. And my Louise Young eyeliner brush. I'm just going to take that to do the liner just in the corner of the eye. I've got a Clinique mascara on top of the bottom. find that your black underneath the eyes isn't quite black enough, get your eyeshadow again and just run it right inside the eye. Just make it that tiny bit blacker. Right, I'm going to go onto the brows. I'm going to use the same palette again, my Storm palette, and I am going to use the matte brown there, and there's a slightly lighter one just here. So I'm going to use those two. I'm trying to keep it so that you don't have to mix up too much. Next I've got some fake lashes. These ones are QVS Natural Lash Style Q4. And I got these from Asda. Now let's see if I can... The only thing is, if you're out, they're impossible to get in because you have to cut them. I have some scissors. With these you kind of need tweezers to pull them off because they're... Very stuck down. I'm going to use my duo glue, not the one that comes with it, because I always trust my duo glue. I know it stays put while I'm waiting for these dry. If you um, want to see more about what Sam and I are up to, you can follow us on Twitter. Um, I've only recently got into Twitter because I'm a bit rubbish with computer stuff. So um, I'm Nixie Pixie, N I X I E P I X I. Um, and Sam is Pixie Woos, P-I-X-I-W-O-O-S. So you can catch up with us a little bit more on there and see what we're doing from day to day. It's not that exciting, really. A um, bit of Jeremy Carl watching. Sometimes there's a bit of banter on there, so you can have a little look between Sam and I. Um, or you can... Ooh, black on my face. Or you can alternatively go, or as well, go on our blog, which is Pixie Woo Blogspot. And normally, people always ask us to put the picture of what we're doing on the, on YouTube and we're not allowed to do that so we put a little picture on our blog so you can see what we were recreating and a little bit more of an insight into our lives so lashes down these are a bit more rigid so just be careful when you're applying them and also Sam and I are going to be at Britain's Next Top Model live the show um, which is end of October time we're going to be doing some demonstrations and we're going to be in the powder room so if you're going make sure you pop in and see us there we will also be tweeting about it obviously so there you go lashes on I'm going to go back to the skin now back to my concealer do you know what, I'm going to change my mind on my concealer and I'm going to use a moisture cover in NW20. It's a little bit too light for me, which is great because Beyonce quite often highlights under the skin, so it's got a, its own natural highlighter. So I'm going to try and 
try to do the same thing. So I'm going to take that right on the top of the cheekbone. I'm also going to top, pop a tiny bit down my central panel of my nose. See how much you highlight straight away, can't you? A little bit through the brow bone. There you go, let me pin this silly bit of fringe back. Keeps coming out. Okay, next I have got a sleek powder. This is a luminous press powder SPF 15, and I'm going to use a MAC. Uh, one, two, nine brush. Just to powder all of that into place. See the highlighter still stays there. It just lessens a little bit when the powder's on. My Chanel Bronze Universal. You can use any sort of bronzer. I just love this one. You can use Mac Matte Bronze. You can use any any bronzers that you want. I'm going to pop that just down the back of my cheekbone. MAC Belightful, which is a highlighting powder. I'm going to use a really small amount, comes out very strong, where I've highlighted. And last, the lip. Now the lips are really deep red current colour, so which is so current in trend as well. Current, current. I'm going to use current lip liner from MAC and I'm going to colour my whole lip in with it because I want to put a lighter red over the top and it needs to be even so it's really dark now which I really like actually but I'm going to go over it with um, Chanel number 67 Excessive which is this colour here I'm sorry about my tiny little lips. And last, I'm going to pop a tiny bit of 72 gloss over the top from Chanel. Right, I'm going to just zoom in on that lip so you can see it a little bit better. And there you have the look. Hope you enjoyed that. If you can hear any moving around, it's my little dog, which I'll give her a debut today. Tilsa! <whistles> Tilly! Come here! Come here! Do you want to see on camera? Come here, princess. Hello, my baby. This is my Tilly. She's my, my baby. Say hello. She needs a little collar on. And this is Tilly. Hope you enjoyed that guys. Can you bark Tilly or wave? She doesn't really do much. She just keeps her mummy comfort, don't you? Mm. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>